One of the most frequently asked questions that I receive, whether it's during my physical classes or my online presence, such as my Facebook page, my YouTube channel, people drop me messages or comments and asking me this question, which is how can we reach the right target audience with my Facebook ads campaign? Hi, this is Jason. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm a Facebook Blueprint certified professional since 2017. And since 2010, I've helped over 200 clients navigate success in Facebook advertising and digital marketing. I've also trained with over 3,500 individuals since 2016, specifically on Facebook advertising and digital marketing. And if you're new to my channel, please be sure that you subscribe because uh, you want to be notified as and when we have new tips coming live. If you want your Facebook ads or digital marketing related questions answered, head over to my Facebook page and drop me a message. Now, I totally understand this is one of the most kind of like common understanding that people have towards Facebook advertising because in most people's understanding, what separates Facebook from other digital advertising platform is that it allows us to get laser focus, super effective audience targeting to find them, to see our advertisement so that they're able to take the action that we want. However, in my opinion, a lot of people put too much concern or focus on finding the right audience, but they don't understand the fundamental of how to create a Facebook ads campaign. Yes, we are able to find the right target audience, but if you're not able to understand Facebook advertising as a whole, as in like how each and every one of the elements contributes to each other to make an effective or successful Facebook ads campaign, you will fall apart. So what I'm actually trying to present to you here is that instead of asking the question of how to find the right target audience, I would like to suggest that you look at a more holistic point of view. I want to leave yourself up to see the whole thing in a more bird eye view to see how we can create an effective Facebook ads campaign. So. This is really the real questions or the right question to ask. So eventually, how do we actually create an advertising campaign or effective Facebook ads campaign is to understand how Facebook advertising work. Now, do you understand how Facebook advertising work? Okay, many people will say that, yes, we have campaign ad set and ad. Eventually, we choose the objective, we find the audience and we send the right ad. That's very technical. But what about the conceptual a uh, whole idea of how Facebook ads work. Now, this is what I want to share with you basically to help you understand. So how exactly Facebook advertising work? Okay, there are three pillars to contribute to an effective Facebook ads campaign. So basically, we start from uh, sending the right message. So if you're able to send the right message and for the right audience, then you're able to command for the right action. So this is a basic three pillars, but let me explain to you a little bit further. You see, sending the right message is not just about, you know, doing an advertisement right, doing the design that you believe that is really effective or beautiful or nicely done or the ad copywriting that you believe that is strong enough, commanding enough, because no matter how well written or how well designed is your advertisement, when it's not able to reach the right audience, nothing is going to happen. So the whole idea is we want to be able to design the right advertisement for the right audience. But when it comes to the right audience part, it is also uh, about commanding the right action. So if you actually go for the right audience, but you choose the wrong action to start with, the whole thing is going to fall apart. So this is really the key element that three things comes together. You see, the right action this is something that a lot of people miss because at the end of the day, although this is a very simple logic, we don't know and a lot of people don't understand that there is another thing that you need to actually contribute back, which is the right action actually determines the right audience. This is something that a lot of people don't understand. Okay, what does it mean here? It means if you have a right message that is carefully done, designed well and all that, and then it's, for example, it is an advertisement that you want, you included a link and you're hoping to get people to click. And then you already pick the right audience where you zoom in to the people who stays in this area, female with kids below 12 year old, and you know that these are the people who are, you know, concerned moms and they are pretty much into the product. However, you choose the wrong objective to start, which, you know, you're trying to command the wrong action. Now, when you start commanding for the wrong action, eventually it will trigger back to the audience setting because Facebook works like this. Facebook advertising works as 
a very relentless force to help you find the action that you're looking for instead of the audience that you're looking for. I repeat, Facebook advertising works on finding the action that you're looking for instead of the audience that you're looking for. So if you use a boost post over here, okay, the example here is if you boost an advertisement that is intended to get you clicks, when you use the boost objective, eventually Facebook receives a very clear message that look, this guy is looking for engagement. So even though you have done all these settings that you know, female with kids below 12 year old that lives here and yada yada. However, this group of people they actually falls into different categories based on the action that are likely to be taken. So when you go for boost polls, Facebook will zoom into this group of people and zoom further in to find people who are more likely to engage. And those people who are more likely to engage, tendency is they are less likely to click. Because everybody have different kind of behavior pattern or you know actions slightly taken or the way we use Facebook are entirely different. So you are the people who are likely to click on the link. Doesn't mean that your mom is that kind of person. So although you find the right audience, but if you start with the wrong objective, everything falls apart. So that's the key message that I'm actually trying to get here. First, you need to actually create the right ads creative, of course, and then you do the right target audience targeting. And you need to start with choosing the right objective. Because if you don't get the right objective, when you work backward, everything falls apart. Even though you have the right message and you set your audience right, but the moment you go for the wrong objective, you'll be frustrated because eventually you won't be able to get the action that you want. So really, when it comes back to the advertising on Facebook, Audience targeting is important, ads creative is important, but equally or even more important is understand which action matters to you. So I really want to highlight these two parts here before we look at the advertisement, the creative part. I want you to understand this important relationship between these two things, the audience and the action. You want to send the right message to the right audience to command the right action. However, choosing the right action determines the segment of the audience that might see your ads more frequent, which in turn, to command the right action that you are looking for. So you must be able to send the right message to Facebook on which action matters to you. So that is the first technique if you want to ask me. The first technique of finding the right audience is really to, from starting, which is to choose the right objective. Now, over to you. What are your experience in terms of the topic that we have discussed just now? Head over to the comment section and leave your comment. If you have more questions related to Facebook advertising and digital marketing, Head over to my Facebook page and leave me a message. You can find the link in the description below. And this is it for this time of the video. Thank you for tuning in. Remember to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Share with your friends if you think this is useful for them. Thank you again. See you soon.